Welcome to the Awesome Girls Road to Global Travel Series. Over the next four sessions, you all will have an opportunity to explore our global movement, develop cross-cultural and travel planning skills through interactive activities, plan, begin planning one to two trips within the United States over the next couple of years so you can put those travel skills into practice, and ultimately, by the end of this series, each of your troops will be able to pick a world center you want to visit and begin working towards um, a goal to, to travel. So now I am really excited to introduce you to your leaders for this session. Genesis is a Girl Scout ambassador and a high school senior from Gateway Council in Florida. Sydney is a Girl Scout ambassador and a high school junior from Minnesota and Wisconsin River Valley's Council in Minnesota. And Tammy is a volunteer who works on older girl programming all across uh, Girl Scouts of Maine. And she's a member of our national network of global action volunteers. Genesis and Sydney are going to join us now and tell you the amazing story of how the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts started. Hi, Genesis. Hey. So do you know anything about WAG's history? Well, I know a little bit, but I'd love to learn more. Okay, so the first appearance of Girl Scouts was actually at a Boy Scouts rally. It was called the Crystal Palace Rally in the UK on September 4th, 1909. Uh, that was where Girl Scouts actually first declared themselves as Girl Scouts. And over the next three years, Girl Scouts grew as a movement. And in 1910, Girl Guiding was officially established. So where in the world was this? It spanned from all over the globe, really. Uh, first, including Australia, Denmark, South Africa, and Canada. And in 1912, the movement spread to four more countries, including the US. Girl Guides was officially established in the UK with the president being Agnes Baden Powell. Wasn't it Juliet Gordon Lowe who started Girl Scouts in the US? Yeah. Juliet Gordon Lowe founded Girl Scouts with 18 girls in Georgia in 1912. But she also formed a group of girl guides in Scotland and London in 1911, which inspired her to actually bring it to the US. In the coming years, the WAGS movement grew in strength and numbers. The first world conference was actually held in England in 1920. This historic occasion allowed girls, girl guides, and Girl Scout representatives to meet and exchange ideas, which allowed WAGs to grow. And with the growth of these conferences led to the first world camp, which included the participation of 40 different countries. And at the fifth international conference in 1928, with delegates from 26 countries, the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts was officially formed. Genesis, can you believe that today WAGS represents 10 million girls in 150 countries worldwide? I am so proud to be a part of an organization that is by girls for girls. And the WAGS mission statement is to enable girls and young women to develop to their fullest potential as responsible citizens of the world. So now it's time to take a break. We have learned about WAGS. Are you ready to take a spin around the world? Let's stand and spin around a couple of times in preparation for our spin around the world, okay? And now everybody, after you spin a few times, put your arms out like an airplane and just spin a couple more times. I happen to be in a spinny chair, so I, I got a little advantage. Awesome, thank you guys. Hi, it's Tammy again. I needed that quick break after learning so much about WAGS, but I wanna learn more. Genesis and Sydney are coming back again and they'll be introducing us to the five world regions. In the Africa region, there are 33 countries that support Girl Guide and Girl Scout organizations. 
with membership of 1.3 million girls and young women throughout this entire continent. And they're actually aiming for 2 million members in the coming years. The Arab region includes 15 countries. It has 160,000 girls and young women. And the WAGS movement was first launched here in Egypt in 1924. And currently the headquarters is also in Egypt. Other countries in this region include Morocco, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, and Jordan. The Asia Pacific region was formed in 1969 and today includes 26 countries. This region spans all the way from Pakistan in the west to the Cook Islands in the east and from Mongolia in the north all the way down to New Zealand in the south. Not only being one of the most diverse regions, but also with an amazing membership of 3.8 million girls and women. The Europe region with headquarters in Belgium includes 41 countries. This region was formed in 1971, many years after the beginning of girl guiding in Europe. And did you know that they represent 64 national girl guide and girl scout organizations within just those 41 countries? I didn't. I can't believe this region spans from Iceland to Russia with 1.2 million girls and young women involved. The Western Hemisphere with 35 countries, including the USA, was formed all the way back in 1940. Do you know how many girls are a part of our region? Well, being the first region formed, it now has 2.7 million girls involved. Wow, with 35 National Girl Guide and Girl Scout organizations spanning across North and South America, I'm so proud to be a part of something so big.